Hey guys, what's up? You've reached my second channel, but today I'm going to be going over how to keep your windows running really fast and keep it really clean that way you have the best experience overall for a long time. Alright, so you're going to want to check out the description, and you're definitely going to want to download Oslogic's Disk Defragmenter and C Cleaner. These are essential items for everyone running Windows. Alright, so first thing you want to do is after installing C Cleaner is run it. Now it's going to come up looking like this. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this clears all your cookies out of your web browser. So if you have passwords, or if you have any pages that you want to keep, bookmark it or write down your passwords. But this gets rid of all the chunky files that you don't need, and it helps eliminate some system errors. You're going to want to click Run Cleaner and OK. As you can see right there, it removed 677 megabytes of data that I did not need. You can run them for both tabs if you want to. I don't think it makes a difference. Just run it. Alright, so we deleted over 600 megabytes of data that we did not need. Lee is, you're going to make sure you run a disk defragmenter. Now, Windows has a built-in defragmenter. But it's nowhere near as good as this because this has automatic optimization and it properly defrags your drive versus Windows where it can produce some errors on occasions. So defrag and optimize slower use once a week. I'd recommend using it once a month just due to the fact Windows 7 has a very good priority on how it stores files but you can do use it once a week if you really want to. So normally just use defrag and optimize once a month and then you'll do defrag once a week. You'd want to make sure you run the defrag menu. Now this is a very useful tool as well. Now go to your start menu and type in msconfig. Go to startup. Now usually if you've never run this before you're going to have everything checked. And startup is how your system starts up and what it loads. Now, for example, I have all my central drivers and security running on startup, along with rain meter. And this is all that I want. Now, let's say, for example, because Adobe Systems is running and I don't need that, I can turn that off at startup. And the more that you turn off at startup, the faster Windows will load and the less workload that it has on it. I do not ever recommend turning off any type of antivirus, so, so when you eliminate the startup items that you no longer need, click apply. And this tool is also good for is if you go to tools, change your user account control settings. Now usually when you make a change in Windows, it's going to ask you to confirm it. With this, if you take it down to never notify, it won't give you those annoying pop-ups. Now the last thing that I recommend is having a good and strong antivirus. This is the best approach on avoiding any problems that may come into your computer and try to harm your data. Is to always have a good antivirus solution. Now in the description of this video, I'll have a video on how to get Bitdefender 2012 for free and along with a few other free, 100% free antiviruses that you can install. But it is definitely recommended to always have a good antivirus installed. See here in a good antivirus, it'll tell you exactly what it did. And due to my internet being out a few minutes ago, updates failed, but I can just fix that. Antivirus, it'll tell you what it's done. So, after you do all that, your C Cleaner, your Oslogix Disk Defrag, and you install the antivirus and you scan it all, you clear everything out, restart your computer, come back on the Windows, and you should notice a huge change. So, thanks guys for watching. Hitting the subscribe button does wonders to my feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it does help you out in the long run. So, thanks guys. See you next time and have a great day. Nigga drop, nigga drop.